Um, I hope you are still uh, in this 3031 uh, 30, challenge. And um, today's chapter is 25. We have just a few more chapters to go. And I'm pretty sure everyone has gained something from this. And I'm sure God has also spoken to each and every one of us. Like I said, we're in on uh, chapter 25. And I was as I was preparing for this chapter, I read through the chapter a few times. Also looking in the other translations and other versions as well just to see the differences or the similarities. And as I was reading, I noticed two verses that mentioned honey. I know it's weird, but it in a way captured me and I dug a little bit deeper to see to see what, um, what was behind this. And the first uh, part that uh, I saw this was in verse 16. If we wanna look and see, it says this, have you found honey? Eat only what you need so that you do not have it in excess and vomit it. Um, if you didn't know, back then honey was one of the most rare, rare things in terms of sweetness. There were a few other stuff, but honey was a, a kind of a rare thing. And basically we all know if we eat sweets too much, we get sick eventually and we might, some of us might, may end up vomiting and we don't feel that well. But what I really understood from this was the principle of balance. And for example, if you have a good job and are paid well and you have enough money, there is wisdom in being generous and not being greedy. This being greedy just results in uh, being depressed, looking for more money and worshiping even money. And this was just one example from many, that there are many, just a bunch of other examples as well. Um, there has to be a balance uh, so that you don't become sick. Also, the other verse that talks about honey was verse 27. So if you want to look up at verse 27, it says the following. It is not good to eat, to eat much honey, nor is it glory to search out one's own glory. Uh, Basically, searching someone's glory or your own glory is the ultimate pride and arrogance. Uh, idling someone's looks, ability, intellect, fame, accomplishments is first of all rejecting God and then his blessing and his plans, etc. It is just viewing the world in a totally wrong perspective. Uh, do you know what, um, what happens or what is the end of self-glory? It is meaninglessness, disappointment, failure to find satisfaction, and even depression. The only way where we will find our lives meaningful, full of satisfaction, happiness, etc., is searching the glory of God. Everything you have, everything that surrounds you and you have is from Him. And this reminds me of Satan, where he wanted all the glory. If we have a look in uh, Isaiah, Chapter 14, I'll just open it up now. Verse 4, uh, start from verse 12. Um, it says this. How you have fallen from heaven, you star of the morning, son of the dawn. You have been cut down to the earth, you who, you who defeated the nations. But you said in your heart, I will ascend to heaven. I will raise my throne above the stars of God. And I will sit on the Mount of Assembly in the recesses of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will make myself like the Most High. Nevertheless, you will be brought down to Sheol, to the recesses of the split. We can see that Satan wanted all the glory. He wanted to be above God. And when we worship our idol, anything else other than God, everything will not go, be, uh, go according to our plans. And I want us to really think, I want you to really think about who do you worship the most and who are you bringing um, all the glory to? Are you, uh, are you, is it yourself or others or is it God? Uh, may the Holy Spirit help us in to bring, um, to balance everything that we have and to bring those balances to God and to glorify him with everything we have. May God bless you and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.